Hi, my name is Carlos Ferreira. I'm the Product Manager for Rational Asset Manager. I'm really excited to uh, show you what's new in the latest release of Rational Asset Manager version 7.2. In this demonstration today, I'll give you an overview of what are the key new capabilities in Rational Asset Manager that help you address your business needs with regards to managing your software development assets, as well as your business assets that are related to the software development process. For those of you that are new to asset management, an asset is a zero, one, or more set of work products that you want to share or reference to meet a recurring business need or technical need that likely are needed or useful for multiple stakeholders throughout the organization. And some of the challenges you'll have are how do you know what an asset is? How do you define it? So you need organizational understanding of what an asset is. And you need to answer the questions here to be able to reduce your solution and delivery and maintenance costs on these assets. You also need to be able to govern your assets. Who has access to those assets? Who can download them, view them? Who needs to review them? What are the right policies that need to be adhered to? And you need to do this to reduce costly risks. And then you need a way to effectively share these throughout the organization to search and find these assets and maintain them. This allows you to reduce the amount of time it takes to find these assets, but also maintain them. Some examples of assets are, are shown on this slide here, and, and actually in the demonstration that I'll be showing you today, showing the new capabilities in RAM, I'll show you some of these assets. But they really span across multiple roles in the organizations, can be things like business processes, data models, test data, virtual images, gold releases of builds. Often these assets are made up of work products that are stored in multiple repositories and you need an effective way of combining these work products together to make up an asset. For example, like a service. A service is made up of a set of required artifacts that may come from a variety of different repositories and that may require a buy-in from stakeholders from different parts of the organization and have to be able to be able to be searched across the entire organization. So let's look at the new capabilities in RAM and the scenario that you would likely face yourselves. As part of managing your assets, you probably want to establish a definitive software library. And these are some of the examples of assets related to, for example, a software release. In today's demonstration, I'm going to show you some of the new capabilities in RAM for managing just a couple of these assets. Perhaps we're going to try to manage uh, third-party binaries yeah, as well as business cases and we're going to see how uh, we can manage those in RAM as a definitive software library. Okay, in our first scenario we're going to look for assets. I'm going to be Bob the analyst and Bob as well as others like the developers and the business analysts and architects they often have trouble finding the assets that they need and there's inefficiencies also caused by teams not being able to effectively collaborate on these assets as they're being built or as they're being negotiated if, the, if somebody's trying to actually use them. Uh, oftentimes these assets are managed in, in spreadsheets. So we're going to show you how Bob, the business analyst, can actually very quickly find and use assets but also uh, how he can be notified about asset activity and collaborate uh, but also how to submit assets as well. And while I do that, I'll show you some of the new capabilities that we've introduced. All right, so I'm Bob, and I'm going to use uh, the web client to search Rational Asset Manager to find some of the business cases. So how would I do that today? Today, I would likely uh, search on an intranet and probably get thousands and thousands of hit back. Rational Asset Manager makes it easier to find your assets. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as Bob. So one of the things you'll see right away here Rational Asset Manager version 7.2 is based on Jazz, uh, the new enabling collaboration technology that is really powering our next set of applications that are coming from Rational. So how can Bob search for his uh, business cases? Well, he would click on Assets, and uh, we, we, we would search either using keyword, of course, uh, let's say business case, or we could search within the artifacts as well. Right, so we can search in PDFs as well. Oh, we could search as well with the facets on the left here. So we could actually say, well, I'd really like to see a business case. And immediately this will reduce down our search results to the uh, right assets. I click on the, uh, the asset and right off the bat you'll see some new things in, in this version of RAM. We actually have the ability now to preview thumbnails 
of the assets that you include inside of RAM. This is a new capability. You can also, if there's assets that have changed since the last time, these assets will be in yellow. So this keeps you a part uh, of any new changes that have been made to the asset since the last time you viewed it or downloaded the asset. So let's look at some other things. Uh, so we facilitate searching for assets, but we can also facilitate creating assets. So let's see how Bob would actually create a new asset. Well, what we've heard is customers want to be able to simplify their asset submission process. Rather than in the past, we had a wizard that would allow you to do multiple steps for submitting an asset. We've now simplified this to make it very easy for you to submit an asset very quickly. I'm going to submit the business case for Rational Asset Manager. I'm going to pick a community. And depending on which community I belong to determines what type of assets I can submit. In this case, I'm going to be submitting a business case. Notice that as, as I hover over these, it gives me uh, information about that asset, uh, asset type. So I have a better idea of uh, what type of asset I should be entering and what the required metadata is. And now we've made it very simple. You just browse to the directory that you want to uh, add the asset to. So in this case, I'm going to add uh, the PDF. Uh, I'm going to add, uh, I'll just add the PDF for now, which is, let's, let's say that's the business case I want. I hit OK, and then I can go ahead and just submit. So we really have reduced this down to a one-step asset submission process to make it very quick and make it very easy to submit an asset into Rational Asset Manager. As we begin to create assets, we very quickly want to make sure that those assets are high quality assets. To do this, we often use reviews, asset reviews, to make sure that they are high quality. Rational Asset Manager version 7.2 introduces an even more powerful review concept around asset life cycles where you're able to specify the states and transitions. Rather than having to do manual reviews, Rational Asset Manager also provides the ability to do policies. Policies allow you to automate the process of reviewing assets for compatibility with internal standards, like for example naming standards or enterprise architecture standards, as well as external regulatory requirements that are maybe required for your industry. Being able to ensure these policies are adhered to will save you money in terms of, for example, fulfilling the needs of an audit or by eliminating duplicate assets in your in your repository, therefore eliminating duplication. In this next part of the demonstration, we'll show how Connie is going to submit an asset that will go a formal review process. This asset is an open source component that requires legal review and technical review and will help with implementing new AJAC technologies uh, to meet the business case that was described earlier. So let's take a look at some of the new capabilities around asset lifecycle and RAM 7.2.